Hey floor cleaners, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to become a highly performing individual inside your floor cleaning business. If you've never heard of me before, my name's John Williams and I run a company called AGB or Ads Grow Business. We specialize in one industry only, the floor cleaning industry. Whether you're a carpet cleaner, a tile cleaner, a hardwood floor cleaner, a marble floor cleaner, we specialize in your industry and we specialize in one thing, one thing only helping floor cleaning businesses like yours generate jobs on autopilot using our specialist digital marketing system i'm on a personal mission to try and help as many floor cleaning businesses as humanly possible not just survive but thrive whether that's through working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis inside our program or through this youtube channel so without further ado let's dive right in <laughs> Next big hint and tip that I'd like to give you is to leverage the four hour window and work on the most important tasks first and to prioritize your day. So I made another video on this specifically. So typically it's proven by science that all of us, there is a basically a window of like four hours. It's normally in the morning from like nine till 12 where we have our most energy, where we are our most focused, where we are our most creative. And so it's really, really important important that you use that four hour window really well to the best out of your advantage because after that typically and I'm sure you've experienced this yourself normally like after lunch if you've been in front of the computer for hours if you've been out there cleaning carpets and stuff like that all morning normally in the afternoon like that's when you start to get a little bit more tired that's when you start to lose that focus and that motivation a little bit that's when you start to become a bit more worn out the morning hours when you're fresh when you've just got up when you've just you know you've had a great night you had a good night's sleep you had breakfast you had a coffee you've freshly showered the day's just started the four hours after that that is when you're going to be your most productive so use those four hours wisely prioritize your day and do the things that are going to have the biggest impact on your business first you don't waste that four hour window paying your tax bill that's something that you can do in the evening when you're tired when you're half asleep then you don't need to be like super switched on to do that don't don't spend like that four hour window answering like emails or messages. If you want to leverage what I do, get up an hour earlier, you can clear the decks in the morning and then go and check your messages later in the afternoon. But like, you know, when you're tired, you know, you don't need to be like super switched on and creative to reply to a customer, you know, or to someone that maybe wants to change their bank details or something like that, right? Like that's just very easily answered email. You don't need to be like the peak of your energy and creativity to reply to an email like that. So you're better off taking those like, you know, remedial sort of day-to-day -day like admin tasks and doing it later in the day when you're a bit more tired and getting the most juice as you can out of that four-hour window and doing like the real important things that are really going to make the impact like working on your website, working on some ads, designing your logo, your new logo for your company, sitting down and just thinking and strategizing how you're going to take the business to the next level and maybe you've got a journal and you're writing in it or you've got a document up and you're kind of making a plan that can be the most important thing you know sometimes you just need that time just to think and come up with ideas so take that time that four hour window and use it to work on the most important positive productive things that are gonna basically make the biggest difference in your business don't waste it doing like admin tasks those things you can do when you're tired a bit later in the day next thing that I can suggest is to combine breakfast and lunch with learning activities so for example when I'm having lunch in the office I'll throw a YouTube video on while I'm eating my like sandwich and my salad you know about entrepreneurial business skills and you know I'll spend the 30 minutes eating my lunch the kind of video that I'm recording for you guys now you know I'll watch like a business educational video whilst eating my lunch and basically like whilst I'm eating I'm also learning right amazing getting the most out of that time as humanly possible doing two things at once or you know you could read sometimes you know in the morning before I head out to the office I'm sitting there having a cup of coffee before I leave read a chapter of a book it can be a memoir of a 
a successful business person or a self-help book or a business educational book, something that's going to give you better skills and more skills to take your business to the next level. Whilst drinking your coffee, like read a chapter so you're taking in information. One of the really amazing apps that I can absolutely recommend that you get is one called Blinklist. And basically, Blinklist is this app and it has like millions of titles on it. And what they've done is they've condensed the content of each book into like the most actionable content. So rather than basically having to like go through like 200 pages of like the author's life story and anecdotes and examples and all of this, basically what Blinklist does, it basically takes the juicer out of the book, the main educational aspect and condenses it down into like a few bullet points over a few pages that basically the actual thing that the book is trying to teach you. And like literally using Blinklist, you can basically take in the knowledge of like two or three books in about 30 minutes and actually like really learn some like valuable skills at the same time. And so quite often what I do is I'll, I'll be eating my breakfast, I'll be having a cup of coffee before I leave and I'll open up Blinklist on my phone and basically like, yeah, I'll take in like three or four business books using the Blinklist app while drinking coffee. So I'm really getting the most out of that time to actually not just, you know, eat or drink, but actually take in some education and some knowledge as well. So I highly recommend that you check out Blinklist, B-L-I-N-K-L-I-S-T. Look it up. It's an amazing, amazing app. The other thing as well that I also want to say that's really important when it comes to becoming a highly performing individual is that, you know, relaxing, switching off and not working is as important as working. Make time to recharge the batteries every single day so that you can come back and do it all again the following day. Bad decisions are made when you are tired. If you're getting up at, you know, 4.30, 3.30, 6.30, whatever time, and you're working till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night on repeat day after day, eventually that's going to catch up with you and you're going to burn out. When you burn out, that's when you're going to have a meltdown. That's when you're exhausted. That's when your brain is tired. And when your brain is tired, that's when you have bad judgment and that's when you make bad decisions and that's how you screw your business. That's when you're irritable and tired and grouchy and when you're on calls or when you're with your team members or your employees, it shows and maybe you snap at them because you're, you know, for no good reason. And that's how your best technician leave you and stuff like that because you're tired and irritated and grouchy because you didn't get enough sleep the night before. So actually recharging the batteries and relaxing is as important as actually doing the work as well. And then the last thing that I want to say as well, leverage the do not disturb setting on your phone. Because, you know, like one of the big mistakes I see a lot of business owners make is they're always in what I call a reactionary mode. So they're always reacting. So the phone goes off, it's an email, the message comes in. You know, you're trying to focus on like the important things. You're constantly being distracted. You're constantly fighting fires, dealing with the next email and things like that. When you're in that four hour window, like I talked to you about before, and you're getting that most productive stuff done, just flick your phone on do not disturb. If somebody emails you and you don't get back to them for a couple of hours, honestly, it's fine. In business, 24 hours, 12 hour turnaround on emails or messages is fine. It's just about setting the expectation. Certainly, nobody expects you to answer them within seconds or within two minutes of them emailing you. It's okay if you get back to people an hour or two later. So when you're focusing on that important stuff so that you don't get distracted by the latest post on Instagram or someone's cute cat or dog or your buddy texting you if you want to go for a beer after work, put that phone on do not disturb so that you are not distracted and you can focus on getting that important stuff done. And so yeah, that's pretty much everything. So just to kind of like summarize, let's go through from the top. Basically, get up a little bit earlier. That extra hour, extra couple of hours can make all the difference to your productivity and can give you the edge over everybody else. Use a task planning software like Asana to map out your days in advance so that you're organized. You don't have to think about it. That's really going to make you, again, get more out of your day. It's going to allow you to perform at a higher level. Make the most of your four hour window of work in the mornings when you are your most awake, your freshest, your most energized to get the most important things done first and do like the day to day, the admin tasks later in the day when you're a bit tired, the stuff that you don't need as much energy for. Make sure you leverage the do not disturb function on your phone so that when you are in that four 
four hour window that you get the most out of that time without being distracted. Combine things like breakfast and lunch with learning activities like watching a YouTube video, reading a chapter of an educational book. Check out Blinklist. It's a great way of uh, getting the condensed information from books into a few bullet points and taking in a lot of information quickly. It's an amazing app. Make sure that you also relax and switch off and recharge your batteries so that you can come back and do it all again the following day. Bad decisions are made when you're tired. Nobody wants to work for a boss who's irritated and pissed off all the time. So make sure that you have that time to recharge your batteries because guess what? That's when bad decisions are made when you are burnt out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis to take your floor cleaning business to the next level, head down to the description where you'll find a link to our website where you'll be able to book a call and get more information. See you on the next video, guys. Laters.